cuddle bug here. Okay guys, so I had forgotten cheese. We're all pooped, but we made it. Taking this girl out. Can I get to go home later today? I'm so late. It's 4.15 and I'm barely getting out of bed because it's so cold and I slept so good and I look like a mess because I literally just woke up so hashtag transparency, real mess, whatever. Um, I have a little cuddle bug here. But yeah, so I slept pretty good. Uh, I'm just still very tired because you're always tired when you're on um so i'm about to get ready real quick i have to go pick up some donuts uh we're celebrating one of our nurses birthdays today and i always like to contribute and help because my job wouldn't be possible without our wonderful nurses and sometimes things get a little rough and that's okay so i'm about to go get ready and i'll catch you guys a little bit later guys I just picked up the donuts and I'm headed to work it's around 4 it is around 4 50 I want to say um, so I'm still on time this was a nice quick pickup this is right where we live um, so we have a few places here that we can um, go to and get some food and and stuff so I really like their donuts especially their abuelitas donuts are so good and then their cowgirl donuts are delicious um, so yeah, I'm just really excited for our nurse's birthday and some like yummy food and stuff. Okay guys, so I had forgotten cheese. Hey guys, so I just got to my car. Um, I came back to the apartment to pick up the cheese that I had forgotten. I'm ready to head out. It's 4.56, so I'm heading out. I didn't make any tea today. I woke, like I said in the previous clip, I woke I up I super late. Here. Um, because it was very nice and cold and I was just so tired and slept so good. I just really wanted to keep sleeping and then Bella was so like snuggly and cuddly and she just got a bath on Sunday so she is so soft. She's like the softest little thing right now which I love so um, yeah so hopefully we'll have a very nice night tonight. I have my dinner uh, which my husband made some pork chops with veggies last night. Um, so I'm excited. Uh, it looks really yummy and then we'll have some of the potluck at work and I'll see if I want anything else. I think I should be fine. <laughs> tired that I am is an understatement to put into words we just had like such a crazy busy night that it's unbelievable we're all pooped but we made it um, we had a total of four c-sections we had three deliveries and we had two postpartum hemorrhages. We had a, like triage was full. We had a bunch of admissions. So it was all very interesting. But yeah, I'm on my way home. I'm tired, I wanna sleep. And 
I'll catch you guys later. Guys, so it's 8.41 in the morning. I got home like maybe three minutes ago. So here I am taking this girl out for a little walk. I'm gonna finally go to bed because I'm super tired. It's Thursday morning, it's around 8.40 something in the morning. And yeah, so just got home not that long ago. And here we are. Hello. Hey guys, it's Thursday afternoon. It's like 5.40 p.m. I'm going in late today. Um, I woke up and I felt so bad. Um, I had like a whole body ache. Um, I had like a small pounding headache. I was really nauseous. I felt very dizzy. It just, I just felt really, really awful. So I texted my seniors and I was like, hey, I don't feel very well. Um, I'm gonna be late today. I don't know, I'm just gonna eat, shower, see how I feel. And while well, I did just that, I ate um, what I felt like eating. I wanted some spaghetti since this morning. Um, so I did that and then I took a shower. Still feel like crappy, but I feel better. Did not end up throwing up, which was a plus because I thought I would. So I'm just getting to work now. I'm a little bit late, but it's okay. I feel better. I don't feel 100% like myself but I feel better. Um, at least I was able to sleep pretty well. Still very tired. I'm still a little bit nauseous, but um, I think it'll be okay. I didn't eat well last night, so I think that's what's making me not be okay. delivered some twins we delivered some Baby. other babies no yeah. emergencies no c-sections which was good I've felt so bad all night um, I wanted to like vlog a little bit more but I mean it was just pretty much impossible it was like crawled with like a warm blanket for most of the time that I wasn't like actually taking care of patients or delivering people it was a rough night in that sense I still don't feel great but I made it through the night and I get to go home later today sleep with my eating pad on I just I I think I've, I've mentioned it in another video but I do have an IUD um, for mostly for medical reasons but starting to like falter and I'm starting to get a lot of pain so it's really hard um, the reason I got it was because I was starting my clinical rotations. I wasn't going to be in the hospital, so I couldn't be so distracted, but that's that. So I have two hard-boiled eggs and a burrito with eggs picadillo, bacon and cheese, which is my huge. Eating some breakfast today because I feel like I need it. Friday at 10.13 a.m. I just got home from conference. I still feel awful. I actually feel a little bit worse today. And yesterday, um, I have more pain. I took medication and it's still there. My plan is to take, put a meditation on, get my heating pad, and try to sleep. And hopefully these cramps will go away. Pretty much sucks. Uh, I had plans for today that I wanted to do, but I really just feel like I need to go to bed. I Like I mentioned in my introduction slash video about contraception, which I'll link right here, there's a very high chance that I have what's called endometriosis, which is when tissue from the lining of your uterus 
starts to grow outside of the uterus and that can cause people to have um, a lot of uh, symptoms and pain um, are surrounding their menstrual cycle. So I started to get more intense pain um, when I was around maybe 16, 17, um, and it started to get progressively worse. My mom has it, and there are there's research that shows that this condition is, has some sort of genetic component. So the the fact that I have symptoms and that my mom has it diagnosed by surgery, there's a like a high likelihood that I have it. So a lot of my doctors have treated me as if I have it, um, just because the treatment is pretty much symptomatic um, for the most part. It's not harmful um, because it's basically just birth control and hormones. So how I ended up with my IUD not had a good night i've been pretty miserable i was able to work and i was able to be functional but i was very distracted um luckily we weren't too busy but now it's time for me to go home and sleep and cuddle with my puppy and Pepe. and i will catch you guys later happy valentine's day i know that when this video goes up it'll be way past valentine's day but today is valentine's day so i hope you guys had a wonderful valentine's day so guys i walked into my apartment to find some godiva chocolates because my hubby is the best just eat some of them i don't really feel like eating right now so i'll eat some of them tonight but isn't he so sweet So I was editing the um, second part of the week in my life while on nights video and I realized I didn't do an outro because if you've watched the video till the end then you know that I was not feeling very well. And that weekend I just kind of like went into full isolation mode and um, I didn't really do much. Um, but yeah, so this is my outro. It is March. We are in the middle of the whole coronavirus frenzy. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. Um, and don't forget to follow me on social media. So um, my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those kinds of things to kind of stay up to date with what I'm doing. I look like i got run over by a train i'm on call it is three in the morning um so hence why my eyes are so red but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video